Kalgoorlie Boulder is home to the Golden Mile, one of the richest mineral deposits in the world. And when you come up here to visit, there's one tour you just have to do. Just outside of town, there's this modest little hole in the ground. And the best way to experience it is in high vis. Well, if you want to get closer than the fence surrounding the super pit, it's the only way. And the only tour company allowed into the famous super pit is operated by locals, most of whom have worked in the mining industry. When my battery powered Tonka toys got too small, I just moved to a bigger sand pit, and that was the best one I could find. <laughs> uh, I actually started off in the mill uh, collecting samples. Then, uh, being a young man, I wanted to learn how to drive trucks, so I went on to trucks. My last job on the mine site was uh, driving a grader. And these days, of course, I'm just uh, somebody that hasn't learned how to retire yet. I'm having too much fun. Once Dan drives us through the front gate, it's straight to the boneyard, the holding place for old machinery with the potential for recycling. These wheels cost $40,000 each. Then it's time to see them in action. There are 40 of these big boys in action, taking just 10 minutes to descend the 600 metres to the bottom of the pit. The tour includes two chances to stretch your legs. At location one, Dan explains just how far away that northern wall is, three and a half k's. And east to west, the pit is 1.6 k's across, staggering. At location two, take a look at these holes. There are 4,000 kilometres of old mine shafts running through the Golden Mile, extending 700 metres beneath the floor of the pit. Each truck carries 259 tonnes of ore. Amazingly, that equates to just a golf ball's worth of gold. And to get it out of the rocks, step one is the crusher. Then milling, which is a bit like a scene from Mad Max. The rocks are broken down even further to a sludge and then back into sand and the gold is spun out. In the blink of an eye, two and a half hours have passed and Dan is reminding us that the only souvenirs we can take from the site are photos. If you get to the gate and you've got stuff on you, they will prosecute. You know how airports, you know how they have the dogs and they've trained the dogs to sniff out drugs? Well, here we've actually trained dogs to sniff out gold. If they're going to have a blanket search, they'll bring out the golden retrievers, you see. <laughs> Funny man is our Dan, and knowledgeable. See this tree? Well, it may not be quite as impressive as the super pit, but it is equally important in the story of gold because this marks the spot where Paddy Hannan set up camp and then he walked 200 metres that way and found that very first bit of gold. Thank you very much, Dan.